Yeah. Um, so, and I think I was in Vegas like uh, 10 days back, or probably less than that actually. Um, I was actually uh, walking around those same areas, so that's a bit unnerving. But, had something like that happened in London, we don't really think about it so much, so, uh, well. Anyway, anyone, anyone want to ask any questions? I'm not sure if um, I'm killing the bandwidth on the plane here, because uh, <laughs> um, uh, video calling from five miles in the air is probably uh, slowing down the internet. However, I did a little, um, a little uh, speed, a search for the speed on the internet here, on the Wi-Fi, and it's like, 30 megabyte download, 2 megabyte upload, so it's not too bad for a plane. Right. There's the wing of the plane, still attached. The good thing is, I actually hate flying, I mean, I'm alright when I'm up, but taking it off is really unnerving. Landing, that's pretty unnerving too. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a live one aboard a um, not a plane, is it? It's four feet wide. And, um, it's yet blue. I thought I'd try out a different brand. I didn't feel too comfortable having a, an American flag on the back of the plane uh, on the tail. So I uh, flew American Airlines the other day and twice. Feeling where I'm going, Dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to keep up with my vlogs, and of course that hasn't even reached Vegas yet, so it's about a week and a half behind. Um, and uh, well, um, obviously to make good time, um, I've had to skip a couple of little bits, and flying just quicker than trying to drive everywhere. Um, I could always hire a car, rent a car from a different location. Um, yeah, so currently uh, in an airplane, live streaming, because I can. So, what we've actually got, if I just turn the camera around, I can actually, yep. So we've got a TV in front of me, and I can get live TV, if I, uh, I did have the news on here earlier. There we go. So that's on the uh, news right now on this plane. Um, up to 58, bloody hell. Terrible. Um, yeah, so uh, get live TV on the uh, plane as well, which
landing. Um, well, load time at the moment is uh, 20 to 4, and I should be landing about quarter to 5. So I've got about about an hour or so until we land. Uh, about halfway through the uh, trip, we've got about an hour. Um, so it's only a small plane, it's only uh, four feet wide. It's a nice big, a nice big seat. Um, yeah. that screen it shows where I am. Yeah, I'll just check them. 
location and I'm currently on, uh, and I'm quite liking JetBlue because they have Wi-Fi, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so I'm on JetBlue, which is the American equivalent of uh, Thompson, Thomas Cook, one of their third party ones. Uh, if you look at the uh, screen in front of me, I've got live live TV, uh, obviously uh, broadcasting what's happening and stuff, and you know, I can change the channel and uh, news. What time am I landing? I'm landing in the next uh, four, about half an hour, 40 minutes. I haven't mentioned where I'm going, I'm just, uh, cause I just don't want to ruin that many vlogs. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm over the US. <laughs> and it's a five hour time difference. Help. It was an eight hour time difference to start with San Francisco. And, uh, what are we up to? Uh, the videos take me from San Francisco, Silicon Valley, the Bay Area, Lake Tahoe, Tejas, I can't pronounce it. Lake Tejas, I can't pronounce it. Um, then up to Reno and um, coming up to the uh, Vegas ones um, uh, soon, which is why I put a comment here earlier on this morning um, because some people think I'm where, where my videos are. Um, yeah, we're, um, we're about a month into my holiday now, I'm still out here. Um, stay away to go, but um, yeah. So, um, For those of you who just joined, I am um, currently in an airliner, surrounded by Americans, and uh, flying above the US, and probably about 30,000 feet up. That's the one, yeah. Clear it at that. <laughs> How much longer? Um, long enough. <laughs> Starts a bit of time. Again, I, I, the idea was to try and make vlogs and put them up daily. And that did happen to start with for the first few days. But then it's the difficulty in making them and just getting them out quick enough. I have a choice, I either make the damn thing or I go out and film my day. And if I make the thing and put that as a priority, then the videos won't get filmed or the f or the other. So um got the recent one at the Gigafactory, you know, I could have spent all day editing and then I wouldn't have had a chance to go to the Gigafactory and uh, illegally fly my drone over the thing. Um, yeah, it is epic. There are some really, there are some really good videos. Um, I've done my best to safeguard, safeguard it instead of disaster. Um, I've, I've got triple redundancy. Um, one copy of all my footage is on my laptop, which is in, in the hold. Another copy is on a um, couple of hard drives that I have, which are in, my, in the other case. And a third copy is not on my person, um, and um, and that I sent that back to the UK, and that that, that takes me up to yesterday. So uh, as far as uh, video footage for my vlogs, I've got triple redundancy and absolutely terabytes of footage, which is um, a lot, millions and millions of megabytes. Um, and I'm still I'm still recording more. <laughs> Lake Tahoe, Tahoe, yeah that's, that's where I went a couple of vlogs back. Um, yeah, it is an epic trip. Um, took, me a year, took me a year to plan, well 11 months to plan. Um, I, me being me, I'm very meticulous, so uh, I stripped it out to the hour. Not that the plan has got 100% of the plan, but um, yeah. So, uh, one, one thing that it's really taught me to do is to become super independent, to, uh, to find anywhere on earth without getting lost. And I'm managing it, so I'm really impressed with myself. Will I be going to Miami Beach at all, Cameron? Uh, no, because um, I mean, one part of it was around that way, but um, with um, the hurricane and that, it kind of, and I was getting behind. I spent too much time in, um, because I spent a lot of time with that YouTuber in, um, in um, San Francisco, I was 
enjoying my time out there, so I uh, spent a couple of extra days there, and then I spent an extra day in Reno and uh, an extra couple of days in Vegas, and uh, that put other things behind. So I'd rather do bits of the trip well than try and do everything and just mess things up. So no, I'm missing my I missed Miami and the key down. But uh, that's enough of me uh, spoilers. Vegas. I was there about, about nine or ten days ago. I spent a few days there. 
there and it was, it was fun. I mean, I was walking down the street. So again, it's in, a, it's in one of the upcoming vlogs, uh, which will get done in the next week, hopefully. But, um, but yeah, I went to Vegas. I walked along the strip. I, uh, I, I, I walked past that hotel where it all happened. I was at the MGM Grand, which is opposite. Um, I can see it from my hotel window. If you scroll down to, um, if you scroll down to uh, one of my previous live videos, which was in the Vegas hotel, you'll see the reflection of the lamp next to me uh, from the room. And just in front of that, that building is the, um, the same building that that actually happened at, uh, where the ghost was shooting out the window. So uh, scary stuff. I mean, you know, I wasn't far off. I mean, I was walking around at night and had that concert been on, I. I'd have gone to it if people were going. I, mean, I was hanging around with strangers and going where the night took me. So, uh, bloody hell, yeah. Um, but no, I'm nowhere near Vegas right now. I'm about, I'm about a thousand miles from there, maybe more.
stomach goes. And now I'm going to have to point it back out the window again. The battery's crucially low, so it might cut off in a minute. Well, the reason I don't want to say where I'm going, oh, here we go, we're turning. Um, the reason I don't want to say where I'm going is because obviously my vlogs are, um, my vlogs reveal that as I go along, and it'll be a surprise. But, I mean, some of my live stuff has given it away a bit, but this is too good to pass up. This is too good to pass up, a live uh, thingy. So, I don't know how long the wife will stay on. Um, but, um, yeah, I've checked. It's totally free. And it's fast enough to cope with a uh, basic video signal. Um, and we're currently coming into land. We're uh, probably about, hang on, we're, we're about 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20 minutes of landing, maybe a bit less. Um, so it's doing all these manoeuvres now to, uh, to bring us on target with the runway for uh, final approach. Um, we're still probably about, uh, I don't know, 30,000 foot in the air? Maybe 25,000 feet? I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Um, so I didn't know it may cut off in a bit because I'm at the mercy of the uh, Wi-Fi aboard the plane and I don't know if it's been streaming down the ground. Because you get people like me trying to broadcast a live landing. <laughs> oh, that would be quite cool, live vlogging, but it'd be better. Always a crying baby. Um, uh, what's it saying? Um, yeah, that would be quite cool, doing a live vlog. But the problem is I wouldn't be able to edit quick enough. <laughs> it's like live animation, a bit of a strain on the wrist. Um, so the engines are now being throttled back. Um, How long for landing? For about 15 minutes, maybe 20. We're in, we're in the descent stage. Down from the ground, so that's yeah, that's, that's new territory. That is, I mean, I've got these 